Brother Calvin Baker, would you come forward, my brother? We love him. I tell you, all these healthy people still. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen again. It's so good to be here again. It's so good to be here again. But I came here today to honor one of my heroes. And it's been some past of some 30, some 30 years. But the Lord allowed me to land in his doorstep. And I've I've shared this with uh so many in our, in our church that had it not been for Dr. J.D. Norris and Mother Beverly, uh, I often wonder if, what I'll be doing today. Some 30, some, some 30 years ago uh, at the Lake Jackson Freeway Baptist Church there in Tallahassee, Florida, we were doing a revival. And I think of a week long revival, perhaps maybe about midweek. Uh, that day I was at my P.O. box uh, checking my mail, and this untidy woman comes uh, to the desk where I was sorting out my mail, and she said, are you, a, are you a pastor? I said, no. And she said, are you sure? <laughs> and she disappeared. She just walked right. away. It was that same very night in our Bible service. I'm still trying to recollect as to who was the evangelist uh, pastor at that time. But the evangelist says, God is calling someone here to ministry. That's right. Amen. That's right. And uh, we're not going to end this service until he comes forward. Amen. Amen. And this didn't happen, but this is what it felt like. I felt like everybody was looking at me saying, hurry up, we want to go home. <laughs> and, the, and the invitation was just prolonged and prolonged and prolonged. And finally, I stepped forward. Amen. Amen. And my life has never been the same. Amen. 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 And so Pastor Norris, on behalf of a wife and four children, 17-year-old church, words cannot express. I wish I came with the words to express. I'll get gratitude and appreciation for the many days of counsel. I'll never forget one statement you told me uh, I think we were probably at the 10 year mark in the ministry. I think it was right around the recession time. And you called just to check on me and see how things were going. I said, well, the, the church been hit very hard financially. The many of the members are unemployed. The offering's been down. And the mortgage company is yeah. not getting up to do it. And you said these words, I'm going to paraphrase it. You said these words, you know, anything that is authentic yeah. need to be tested. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, there you go. Anything that is authentic need to be tested. And those were some great words of, of wisdom. A church some years ago rolled out of what we call our 2020 vision. <laughs> Uh, for the future of the ministry and was able to fly in and sit down with you and yes. lay the plans out before you and have you pray over them. Amen. And, 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 and Pastor, one thing that separates you from so many pastors in my spirit and influence and, and while there are while there are many is that you're real. You are real, you're about as genuine as they come. Amen. And I thank God for you. Amen. And my children, I wish I could have rolled them all, flew them all in here with me to stand before you. They've not met you before, certainly every year, many years during our pastor anniversary, you sent a, a video to the church. And so they certainly know how you look. <laughs> and uh, But if they could come, uh, 
and the countless numbers, hundreds of souls that we have led to the ministry, led to, led to Jesus, uh, is all from God using you. My, my, my roots and my Free Will Baptist roots run, run very deep. Uh, my first pastor, Billy Jackson, out of Cardinal Village, Free Will Baptist Church, and in North Carolina, getting transitioning out of the military and going to Tallahassee, Florida to go to school. He said, I want you to go visit this pastor. Gave me Dr. J's address and I showed up there at that Lake Jackson Church. And, and people of God, I, I, I'm just so honored to be here today to not watch and witness a book being closed, but witness a, a chapter been finalized, and I am I'm, I'm honored. I'm, I'm honored to just have a small part, maybe a page or two, <laughs> in his book. Amen. And only heaven, only heaven, could express to you all publicly my appreciation for having such, played such a a role. In that the Bible tells us, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, neither had it entered into the heart of, of man the things that God has promised Amen. to those who love Him. Amen. And today, Pastor, we're surrounded, the scripture says, we're surrounded by such a great a cloud of, of witnesses. And, 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 and while there are, are souls that have been saved under your ministry, that have gone to be with the Lord. They are watching this event. They are watching this event. And, and all of us, we are, we are so privileged today to be part of this history. This is, this is history in the, in, in, in the makings. And, and we are surrounded by these great cloud of witnesses that are watching every moment. Pastor, can you imagine the, the, the many that are there watching right now? Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord himself is the one that's wiping the, the tears of joy Amen. from their eyes. And so I thank you. I thank you so much Amen. for allowing God to use your life. And I pray that the, that the anointing yeah, yeah. that God has placed on you, that I want a double, I want a double portion of that same anointing Amen. with a strong desire to win the loss at any cost. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You see, at the end of the day, people of God, yeah, come on. And it's not about big services. No. It's all about did a soul, did yeah. a soul, did a soul. Yeah. 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 And if there's anything that I took away from you, the many times in jail ministry with you, the many times in street services yeah. with you, yeah. the, the many revivals that you that you took me with, little little did I know what God. <laughs> Yeah. Little did I know what God was doing Amen. in my very own life. Amen. So again, thank you for allowing God to use you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.